Greetings everyone, welcome to the channel. We are the Lion Gaming Crew and in this Season 28 Diablo 3 video, we're going to be doing a brief update video to some of our seasonal builds that have been updated in the past weeks. So if you are new to this channel and you've uh, never seen any modded Season 28 gameplay before, man, then uh, this video is for you. And if you're looking for any of the seasonal gear or save files shown in this video, all you do is hit that link in the description and sign up for Discord if you're not already a member. And you're going to find all of our free seasonal save files right there in that file downloads channel but i do want to note before we get into this video you are going to need either save wizard or a jailbroken playstation to resign this save to your account although if you don't have either of those we do do weekly giveaways for a free save resign so with all of that out of the way a big special shout out to each and every single one of our subscribers to our youtube channel and each and every single member of the discord community without your guys' support literally none of this would be possible so without any further ado let's go ahead and jump right on into the showcase video shall we so over the past two weeks, I have also, I have been really, really sick, so that's why I didn't upload any videos last week, but I've also been hard at work updating our seasonal builds. So you're going to notice right away that the uh, Fury weapon and all of the ethereal, all of the main hand weapons, I should say, um, do have three soul shards now in them. So before what we used to have was the gem of ease would be the middle gem in the main handed weapons. And now that has re been replaced with the stain of sin. So just adding you know that cool factor of having all three soul shards in the main helm which is just or uh, sorry main weapon my bad it just uh it just makes the builds look that much cooler and uh it really doesn't um affect the gameplay all that much the only thing you're going to be losing out um on now is that 8,000 experience per kill so uh, if you're playing the no paragon variant of our free seasonal save file you are going to need to you know do a little bit more work to get your levels up but other than that though i think it provides just a better uh look first off it just looks super cool having the three soul shards and the main weapon other than that though it doesn't um really provide that many effects um in terms of like gameplay you know damage output anything like that it just was something that i've been wanting to do for a really long time since about season 25 when the soul shards were actually introduced into the game and i just have been putting it off for so long so it's finally here and uh, it is on the uh, barbarian class first off and then the necromancer class so we're going to be rolling out these updates by uh, by class so um Moving on from the weapons, we're going to be taking a look at the uh, the whole builds themselves. So these builds are almost identical. Um, there is a couple of them uh, that still need to be, like, it's very minimal, though, the updates that need to be provided. And I'll kind of go over that when we get into the pieces that do need that minor update. But you'll notice the up arrows and down arrows are no longer there. They're no longer visible, meaning that all of our builds now for the Barbarian class and the Necromancer class, like I mentioned earlier, should be on a level playing field. So obviously there are going to be still some builds that stand out from the rest due to their set bonuses and stuff like that. But we wanted to bring all of our builds kind of on the same playing field like i said earlier we wanted to make them um almost identical affics and stat wise so that way you can play with your favorite build and not be in fear of having another build being vastly improved upon that that build that's your favorite so that was kind of the reasoning behind um rolling out these updates and uh, rolling out all of the affixes and stats to make sure that they're pretty much identical we also added uh, three sanctified affixes on each one of these builds. So the shoulder piece is going to have the second sanctified affix. The main weapon is always going to have the first sanctified affix. So for this example here, it is going to be whirlwind sanctified affix. And for this example here on the shoulders, it's going to be the tempest rhythm sanctified affix. And it will be different depending on what build you're playing. Moving on into the chest piece, as you guys can see here, again, they are exactly identical. All the stats, all of the affixes, everything like that. Moving on into the helm, this was the hardest one um, by far because it has the three soul shards in the helm. So we ended up just uh, copying the gems in the editor to make sure that every single one of them is exactly identical. So pretty cool. I'm really excited. And uh, they just do have a bunch of those season 25 soul shard affixes on here. So all of our new updated builds, being uh, the Barbarian and the Necromancer builds, like I said earlier, are going to have all of the Season 25 Soul Shard affixes, as well as being Triple Sanctified, which is a feat in and in of itself. So I'm really happy that we got that done. So they should be pretty potent, and I can't wait to get some feedback from you guys. Moving on into the Amulet, we uh, kept these pretty much the same. Um, you know, lowered the damage value a little bit, but we also... Um, 
made sure that they do have the uh, rest of the Soul Shard affixes as well as um, the uh, War Cry and Threatening Shout caused an avalanche. That is from the Blade of Tribes. And then, um, yeah, other than that, though, it will have sometimes class specific legendary powers on there, like this one has. The damage of Hammer of the Ancients is increased by 800%. So, and we'll look, take a look here at the Rage build as well, just scrolling down. It's pretty much identical. Um, they're going to go in the same order as well. So, yeah, pretty excited though. Moving on into the Bracers, um, exactly identical, which is nice. They do have that 75% magic item find, which is all good and well. For the offhand, we do have Duplicate e Echoing Furies. Now, that is because um, for the Altar of Rights, you need to sacrifice a weapon and it has to be an augmented weapon so that's why you're going to be using the echoing fury and that's why it has to be done on the barbarian but other than that though um, that's pretty much the only uh, secondary weapon we have for the barb for both the dauntless and the rage set moving on into the rings um, this is what i was talking about earlier with the 1 billion physical skill damage ring we'll kind of scroll down here to show you why this has one up arrow on the attack uh, sector there and that's because it does have uh, 700 percent damage as well as 4,000 to 5,000 damage rather than being 3,000 to 4,000 and 600% damage respectively here on the Fury set. But other than that though, all of the other rings um, are going to be identical. So I kind of missed one little affix there on that Dauntless build, but um, scrolling on down here on the uh, test ring 516 for Immortality, you guys can see here that they are exactly the same. And we'll kind of do the same thing here with the 1 billion physical skill damage ring, um, although this one does have that slightly higher damage value but other than that though almost exactly identical doing the same thing here with the rage test ring 516 for immortality just showing the uh the same exact affixes there and we'll kind of scroll back down here and do the same thing for the 1 billion physical scale damage ring so very nice moving on into the boots um identical which is great pants also identical and for the belt also identical with the uh passives as well being identical on all builds so that was for the Barbarian, so let's go take a look at the Necromancer now, which is going to be Lord Voldemort. And I do want to note, these uh, changes are going to be present on all of our Season 28's free seasonal save files. So it'll be, we're on the uh, No Paragon variant right now, but it'll also be featured on every other single one of them, as well as in Softcore and Hardcore Seasonal, which is uh, pretty awesome. That's kind of... Well, it took us a little bit of time to uh, roll this update out. It's just, we have a lot of seasonal saves. We have a lot of seasonal saves, guys. So it did take a little bit of time, but no worries. We're going to continue to roll out the updates as promised. So taking a look here at the, <clears throat> excuse me, sorry. Still got a little minor throat bug thing going on, but I'll do my best. Um, moving, Looking here at the Bloodshed build, which is our seasonal Tragul's avatar set, which was the most recent one shown in the build guide, we do have the three soul shards in the main weapon <clears throat> here for the bloodshed build, which is very nice. They are also triple sanctified, which is great. And uh, other than that, though, they're pretty much identical. So we're not going to really, you know, we're just going to hit the main points um, here. So the shoulders showing that they, they have the uh, second sanctified affix, showing the helms, how they are identical which is great, and showing that they do have all of the Season 25 Soul Shard affixes, and scrolling over here to the amulets, um, just showing what has changed on here. We have upped the values on some things, other than that though, pretty much standard, and this is going to be our new standard moving forward for all of our seasonal only builds. We want to make sure that they are identical. Um, here is another one where I made a little bit of a misstep here. It does have a slightly higher intelligence value, and uh, other than that though, it's uh, got, yeah, it's just a slightly higher intelligence value. That's uh, um, that's why the arrows are up on that. But uh, the offhand for the Necromancer is going to have the third Sanctified Affix on there, which is nice. So moving on into the rings, these are identical, which is great. Boots are also identical. Pants also identical. And the belt, same, same. So everything's looking good here. We can kind of scroll down check out the main weapons show that these are also um, looking great and very, very potent. So, yeah, I'm really excited to get some feedback from you all on the uh, triple soul shards and the uh, the weapons, as well as having, you know, the triple sanctified, including all soul shard affixes. So let me know your thoughts and feedback down in the comment section down below. And I really appreciate you all um, if, for making it till the end. If you made it all the way to the end of this video, go ahead and drop your favorite update um, down there in the comment section down below. What do you think is going to be the best thing moving forward with these massive updates we're rolling out? 
And other than that, though, man, thank you again all for watching, man. I really, really appreciate all your support. And if you did enjoy this video or if you're new here and you do like the content style of these videos, all I ask is maybe drop a like on the video or even consider subscribing if you're new here and you really, really do enjoy the content. So with that, man, I really hope to catch you all in a future video coming out soon. Stay safe, stay happy, and last but not least, stay gaming, my friends. Lion Gaming Crew, signing out.